Hello, I'm Volker Rautenberg from BPM Ags, responsible for the product management of the BPM Exchange Business Process Management, or short BPM suite. At BPM Ags, we use the Microsoft technology stack, including Microsoft SharePoint and Microsoft Office Visio. In this webcast, I would like to present Enterprise Business Process Management using SharePoint in order to discuss the differences between Enterprise BPM and normal BPM used for process implementations or workflows. SharePoint is well known as a central platform which permits team collaboration using governance workflows such as web-based applications, approval or sign-off workflows and the sharing of documents and information. SharePoint is easily employed as a web portal so that it can be accessed from any place in the network of an organization. Using the strong feature of Enterprise Search allows users to retrieve the needed information on demand. The business integration leverages the SharePoint workflows for a support of operational procedures and processes. Business intelligence relies upon the built-in analytics services to offer dashboards. And by the integration of reporting services, SharePoint provides enterprise-wide BI capabilities. And last but not least, SharePoint is strong in storing all kinds of documents. It is equally strong in versioning and combining all before-mentioned features into an enterprise information system. All these SharePoint capabilities are very helpful to build an enterprise BPM platform. Let us now focus on the differences between normal BPM and enterprise BPM. SharePoint implementations are mushrooming across organizations. In a recent survey conducted by the International Data Group, 62% of the interviewed CIOs identified SharePoint as being a critical component in their technology portfolio. Following the Forrester research report titled SharePoint and BPM – Finding the Sweet Spot, the analysts say that, despite Microsoft's best attempts to position the SharePoint platform for content and collaboration, many people still see it as a business process management platform. But in fact, SharePoint offers great capabilities to turn the out-of-the-box functionality into a fully featured enterprise BPM platform. When looking at an organization's business architecture, we have a top-down approach to support the business goals and help accomplish the missions of compliance with legal and other standards, lean management, transparency and business process improvement. Prevalent SharePoint BPM is more a kind of bottom-up approach for a single department or the support of isolated business processes. However, to better support business stakeholders, it is necessary to decompose a complex business architecture into different process categories and to refine them correspondingly. Management processes, for instance, deal with planning, controlling and financial reporting. Core processes are adding value like those in development, sales and distribution. Also end-to-end -end processes may come into play here, such as order to cash or procure to pay. And finally, there are support processes related to HR, IT or workforce deployment. Drilling down the business architecture, we come across workflows and procedures and across department-specific activities representing enterprise capabilities such as preparing and sending quotations, doing sales, managing deliveries and creating invoices. On the lowest level, business activities are conducted as manual tasks or IT-supported tasks by ERP systems like SAP and Oracle or by applications in service-oriented architecture landscapes. It is true that people mostly think of SharePoint as a department-level BPM system just using workflows for governance or operational business process support. The BPM Exchange view to enterprise BPM is wider and more comprehensive by looking at the enterprise in a top-down fashion, permitting drill-downs and a process navigation using different views and viewpoints for the various roles of key persons and stakeholders. In the following, I shall give you a brief overview of how to use BPM Exchange and SharePoint to establish enterprise BPM using Microsoft Visio for the management of business process data. Let us start in SharePoint. I've created a document library which holds a repository of enterprise-wide process models and their hierarchy. But instead of directly delving into SharePoint, I would prefer to use Visio for this purpose. Well, this is not plain Visio. It is enhanced by our BPMX Designer add-in, which brings professional modeling capabilities to a business user's desktop. One important feature of the designer is the Model Explorer. It lets you navigate and access all elements of your process repository. You can see the SharePoint-based project BPMX Enterprise BPM. In its model repository branch, there is a main group. 
And in first place beneath it, we have a master data library with object or shape definitions for application systems, input-output, organizational units and positions. Such objects are bound for reuse. There are many different names for the master data library. You may call it a glossary, an inventory or a common data folder. On the top level we have two other folders. The operative as-is processes and future to-be processes. The as-is processes folder provides entry-level models like the process landscape and subdivisions according to the decomposition into core, management and support processes. There are quite a number of core processes ranging from development to sales. Beneath sales we have sales order processing and even more activities on the enterprise capability level. Principally the as-is processes are the area of business process analysis. By the way, the reuse of master data objects is very simple. Having mounted your master data library to the BPMX object repository, you simply select a master model, for instance application systems and applications. A dynamic stencil appears in your diagram window and you drag and drop the desired application to your diagram. That's it. The to-be processes on the other side reflect the location of a continuous process improvement. Here you store new and optimized process models. This folder has the same decompositions as the as-is processes. An enterprise BPM repository may of course contain different viewpoints. For instance, BPMN models like this could well be used for the automation of SharePoint workflows. Well, this video comes to an end. There will be follow-ups where I shall present the reporting and analytic capabilities of BPM Exchange to establish an enterprise BPM. Also, I shall look at the publishing of business processes to integrate departments and stakeholders. Thank you very much for your interest and valuable attention.